Radio check. Crystal clear, Dr. Lynch. Okay, making my way to the D-deck reception area now. I can access this through the forward grand staircase, right? Yeah, marking it on your map now. You'll need to park off to the side of the staircase this time, leaving the opening clear. On that night of April the 14th, we all, that is, the captain and officers, knew perfectly well that we were just about entering the region where ice might be sighted at that particular time of the year and had taken all necessary precautions. We were steaming that night at a good 22 knots. At 10 o'clock, I was relieved as officer of the watch by Murdoch, W.M. Murdoch. Of course, he knew nothing of the death trap lying ahead of us any more than I did. And so, five bells, six bells, and seven bells went by. But barely ten minutes had passed after the sound of the last bell, when there were three sharp clangs on the crow's nest bell, followed by a cry from the lookout cage, Ice right ahead, sir. Murdoch evidently saw the mass of ice practically at the same time as the lookout men, and shouted, Hard a starboard, full speed astern. Her bow swung a bit, but not enough, and she struck. She took the blow along her starboard side, masses of ice actually falling on the fore deck. What's with the patches of damage on the deck? I thought it would all deteriorate at the same rate. Those sections are deteriorating faster because of visitors to the site. Some people land their subs on deck, making it deteriorate faster. Isn't conservation of this site meant to be important? It is. It just took a while for people to realize what was causing the damage. No one lands on the wreck now. Oh, wait, I'm at the staircase. Supposed to be descending to D-deck now. They are, but the scratching of the surface is what causes fast deterioration, not the weight. It's better to just not touch anything. D-deck. Great. The area in front of you is the reception area. Head forward and you'll find a grand piano on the port side. Is that what I'm photographing? Yeah. An American historian is writing about the Titanic's musicians and wants a clear photograph of the piano. <laughs> Can't believe this survived. It's beautiful, isn't it? Like something out of a film. I think this is the first room Henderson would have seen when he boarded. Did you want to take a minute to look around? Yeah, can I? Of course. The next task is the recovery in the Turkish baths. So head down the grand staircase when you're finished here. Alright, I'm ready. Uh, Turkish baths are at the bottom of the staircase, right? Yep, straight down and off to starboard. I'm in the baths now. I can see the Oral-V here pinned under a pipe. Great. You'll need to get into position and attach the flotation bag to the pipe. The flotation bag is in the Predator's storage compartment. Done. 
Okay. Last step is to activate the tank, and it should fill the bag. You can activate it from the menu on your right-hand controller. Hey, it's working. The pipe is lifting. Great. When the pipe's completely lifted, you can attach your hook and drag the ROV out of here. Right. Ah, I think the motor failed. My arm's not responding. Is everything else okay? Is the line attached? Yeah, everything else is operational, and the line's still connected. Okay, we'll fix the arm when you're back on the surface, but for now, you'll have to be extra cautious. You need to drag the ROV back out to the ground staircase. The extra weight is going to make your controls tricky. No, oh, you're not wrong there. Predator's really struggling. I'll need to use my other arm until we get this damaged one replaced. This is gonna be difficult. Just take it nice and slow. I'm at the staircase again. The next step is to attach a tracker to the ROV. There is one in your compartment. Okay. Now what? Now remove the hook and let it float straight up to the surface. The other diving team will be able to track it and pick it up. There she goes. Should I follow it up? No, we aren't finished down here yet. What's left to do? We need to collect the gear we left in the Turkish baths. The flotation gear? Yeah, it's too expensive to leave down here. You need to deflate the balloon and remove it from the pipe. All done. I'm heading back up. Great. See you soon. I'll get the lab ready to repair Predator. <laughs>